Hey everybody, how's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a great, wonderful day, or had a great, wonderful day, however it's going. We have a problem with some of our kids. You know, they, uh, they're being kind of bad. And we had a neighbor come by yesterday uh, with a little bit of concern because, uh, well, I guess not really our kids' kids, but our chicken kids. They're deciding to, they like the grass is greener on the other side method, obviously. And uh, we didn't really have this much problem. I think our problem is is, is our roosters are, 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 are making all the hens go over there. So They're I'm blaming, bad influence. Yeah, I'm blaming it all on the roosters. <laughs> but anywho, though, our neighbor came by yesterday, and our chickens have been going into their yard. And we don't quite have everything set up. We're gonna, doing free range. But we don't have good fencing on the sides to keep them on our property. We will. We're just not there yet. We're just not there yet. And they've been doing, like I said, they've been doing really great on staying here. But, like right. I said, I think uh, maybe just as they're going around, they're not finding just enough stuff out here in the woods. And, you know, they're like, huh, what, what's over there? So... So. And, and we knew it was an issue, and we've seen them over there a couple of times, and we've called them back, and and so we knew this was something we had to get done. And we actually have a, a big project in in the design phase that we're we were going to use to counteract this issue. Yeah. That that project is not ready yet, so we yeah. need to do something. Today, today, right now, to control these chickens so that they stay out of our neighbor's yard because I understand. Oh yeah. There, there are chickens. They're not theirs. They don't want them in their property. That's true. And I completely get that. So we're thinking, or at least I'm thinking, I can take my little IBC totes here and. I think I've got a pretty good idea of transforming these things into some decent sized little chicken tractors mm -hmm. that we can kind of store them all, you know, break our chickens down into some groups, put them in here. It's going to be roughly about four foot wide by about eight feet long is what I figure is how I can probably turn these totes into that. So. We're gonna make several of these. Make several of them. To store our chickens for now. As And then we can, you know, kind of move them around, let them do their thing like they should be doing. A Little bit more time consuming now on our end, but this was a plan that we were wanting to do also, you know, in the future. That's why we got all these and when we found them for a good price, you know, it's like, hey, we can do that, I bet. So. So we're just kind of putting one project ahead of another project kind and of, kind of speeding things along. Yeah, kind of like normal. You know you know how it is out there, you know. You got a plan to do something, but it doesn't seem like when you're kind of doing your little farm or your homestead or, you know, hobby farming or, or, or whatever, anything, whatever you're doing. <laughs> heck, even even in regular life, you know. something Nothing goes normally, this way. Yeah, something normally comes up ahead. So you got to kind of change around some plans and do that. So... Uh, we, one of these days that uh, we're going to be doing. We have a very limited time. It's winter, sun goes down quick, and to be able to wrangle our chickens, they are still in their coop right now. So yeah. we have to, we have to do this fast. Yeah. So we're going to bring you along, show you how we're going to do this, and we're going to hope we can get this all done quick. Yeah. Keep your fingers crossed for us, please, because <laughs> we're going to need it. All right, let's get it going. Alrighty, <laughs> got my coats. I think four of them will do me. Think about putting all the roosters into one. I don't know how well that's gonna work, but we're gonna see. They're they're dinner soon anyway, so. Yeah. Well, a couple of them are at least. So, like normal, take the top bars that support it along the top off, and then we're gonna have to you know separate the whole thing from also the bottom. pull our toad out so we can make 
cuts into it, and then also cut on the frame. So, let's get going. Okie dokie 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 dokie. All right, here's our thought plan and process. After much deliberation. Yes, after thinking, 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 getting enough thinking juice in me, I think I've come up with something until I change it here in a few minutes. And that's normally how it goes. Anywho, so basically, uh, taking the tote uh, the way it is and just pulling it straight out to the bottom. So this gives about a four foot area in the back, about a four by four base. This would give about a four foot by four foot space. So we'd have about four foot all the way to about eight feet. So basically you undo the whole bottom, pull the tote like right out the, the back end of the cage and that's how it's gonna kinda set. And what we'll do is, is we'll put chicken wire up and over the top of this. And then what I'm gonna end up doing is, is you can see it's a little higher, of course, here on this, this top part, but that's gonna get readjusted by, I'm gonna come down here and basically where it starts to stop going straight right here at the bottom, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this whole bottom part off because I'm gonna also run a two by four straight through all the way back to that side, straight through all the way back to that side. I can use these short pieces that I'm cutting down to that I'll show you here in a minute to attach to the two by four. And then that whole bottom part there, I'll cut, that will be the doorway to go in the front. So, you know me, try to use every bit I can and not try to waste. We're gonna cut the bottom of the toad out so that when you drag it, um, as a tractor, as a tractor, they have even fresh grass to get into there. And then we'll basically cut a door out around that hole for them to go into. And then on the back side where the little valve is at, we may just even just cut that valve off and use that as uh, we may just cut this little valve off so we can still have a little bit of a grip of a handle in case we needed it. And it'd bring a little bit of air flow through. We may have to add a hole in top later. Possibly. We're not sure yet. Uh, but they're really just meant for just the chicken tractors, just to, to kind of go around. Um, Give me your ideas on what you think would be an easy way to be able to get into this maybe later if I also want to use it to try to collect eggs out of also. Oh, we're just going to pick it up, move it, and collect whatever eggs are on the ground. Yeah, maybe. So, all right. Now we need to start getting the cut. Okie doke. So, as I was saying, I'm basically cutting these little ends off, these curves, so on the short, basically, if you went with the short side, cutting it down to where it kind of goes the flat part here, going down on this type of cage, and then coming back and cutting it even with this side because we can use this side that we're gonna cut out all the way here. This side can then turn this away and be the door. So it's kind of similar to we did our little animal transport cage, which has worked out really great getting our pigs, our goats, even our cows. We put them all in there. So it's basically the same concept of cutting that all out and then taking the one side you cut out and using it for the door. So it's working out pretty good, I think. So, all right, let me get back to it. got that bottom or that one bottom side cut off leaving those little 
little feet basically on each one so I can attach a board to it. As you can see, it brought it a little bit lower, but that is actually gonna, the bottom will sit on a two by four, so it should raise it up about even. And then the front piece that we cut out, cutting all the curves off, will fit just nice and perfect this way. Do some wire real quick around the edge for like a hinge, or we could do the whole system where we use that plumbing tape once before. It, it works out okay. We may just use just regular wire, you know. Yay! Looks like, so far, it's looking like it actually is up here, which is pretty darn amazing. Yeah. See, I'm just resting this bar on top of that board. Got my hole cut out for the chickens to go into. Basically, we just cut out that hole where it screws that top, top on the top. Cut around, went down and across. Cut the bottom out. And now what we need to do is, is come along this edge, cut me a little notch out here so I can take the two by four, run it all the way through, and then we'll attach the two by four, or attach the tote, screw it on the outside directly to the two by four. going through and without even screwing it still not real heavy slides pretty good because we left a little bit of that curve on the bottom and so as you can see I just came down and we cut out a notch right here on that corner so we could still leave this together so it keep stability across and then what I'll do is is screw that board along the bottom part of the plastic and that should keep it all good and secure and then our next step will be is once I screw it together we'll probably drill two little holes on each side here and when we get the chicken wire put across the top we'll take it we'll zip tie it or maybe some some wire and, and tie it together there. So, should give a good sturdiness across there too. So, let's get it screwed together. Okay, so I've got my little door, which is three feet high. So I've got some three foot chicken wire here, uh, one inch holes. Got some little tiny zip ties and just Attaching that around these zip ties for right now because I think they should hold pretty well. So this is also kind of a quick fix. I'm thinking it's also going to work out pretty well at the same time. So I'm taking the bottom and attaching it. This is the bottom of my door. And we're going to attach it with the twisted part there. And then on this side where it's been cut, I'm going to go back one where it's a good strong braid all through there, kind of bend it around, and we'll attach it in to that spot through here. Alrighty. Uh, like normal. Change something up. 
I was like, I've got the welded wire, that two by four, four foot wide welded wire from a long time ago. I used it on the uh, transport cage and it seemed to work out pretty good. So I think I'm gonna do the same thing and use this again. And I may still put the doors with the uh, chicken wire because I have the chicken wire on hand. So this should be a lot sturdier. And safer. And a little safer. So we're gonna go with this idea. So I figure what I can do is, is just line her up and I'll just staple it down here on the bottom and then I can zip tie the edges or put metal on it or anything like that. So. Colder. It feels like it. It came out pretty much like I had it in my head a little bit, except for changing this up. I'm really thinking about the front door too. Uh, we got raccoons around here, so if you got raccoons around your area and fox and foxes, that chicken wire is probably not going to be strong enough for the raccoons. The only thing chicken wire is good for is chickens. But this is pretty sturdy. I've just done a lot of zip tying to it. I may go back with some wire. Maybe he says on the he, next one. He says he may go. He will. I know him. Yeah. He's going to upgrade it here in about 15 minutes. But this was just a quick thing. So as I thought about going, I got to do something about the chickens real quick. I just didn't want to throw up a little fence type thing. I'd rather get it all, you know, instead of having to redo it all again and, and tear it, it's just a hassle. So We were going to make these anyway. I we just weren't planning on making them right now. Yeah. So not bad. I just used some zip ties. You could use some, you know, wire if you've got it. A couple two by fours down there below. And then, you know, I drilled my holes all through the tote here at the top to put the wire and the cage, the frame cage, connected to the top of this, all the way down. And then, you know, the boards, they run through. I still gotta clean it, of course. But definitely too, if we wanted to, you can, you know, pitch it over to clean it all up. I still gotta clean that other stuff out. It is non-toxic, so if we don't get to that today yeah uh we'll just have black chickens <laughs> but see that that board i just got it run along the inside down there you know and i left part of this this lip so it could slide pretty well and it still gave them enough area to pick at new grass where they're going to be sleeping at you know and then they'll sleep in there uh not actually eight feet i believe i cut this to about 90 inches actually uh Running from the very front all the way to the back so that it would be out of that curve. Use the little hand head screws, I think. You know, they've got like, basically it's a big head that's flat so that it wouldn't poke through the plastic. And it, it's, it's not that heavy, really. I mean, it's, it's still, you know, it's basically the same weight as a tote added with two two by fours. Well, you don't have the bottom on it. Shauna came up with a pretty good idea. What we're thinking about probably doing is I'm just gonna, on this corner, attach me a little rope to drag it to be loose over here. Attach it to the other side. That way I can grab the rope like this, pick it up and just drag and pull it. But we're kind of in a time crunch here. So we're kind of in a time crunch here. So that's probably some stuff I'm gonna add to it. I just need to get something set up well for the chicken. Roomy. It does seem roomy. Yeah. Not bad. It could work. I think that would work. 
So, yeah. but I will give you an update here in just a bit to show you the finished result. It, of course, Mother Nature, it's starting to rain on us now, and we still have three more of these to get done so that we can get everything finished up. Until next time, y'all have a fantastic, wonderful day, and we'll see you later. Thanks again for coming along. I sure do appreciate it. Y'all have a great and wonderful one. Later.